welcome everyone. This is Virginia Parsons and I am so pleased to have you here to our special presentation on the Green Assurance Advantage. I am your host, Virginia Parsons, and I'm known as the Hangout Mentor and I'm the founder of Hangout Marketing University. And I can help you, the healthcare provider, establish yourself as a recognized authority and grow your patient base and following using this remarkable tool, Hangouts on Air. And that's where we are today. We are gathered from uh, various places across the country and we're doing a Hangout to bring the Green Insurance Advantage presentation to you. So if you'd like to get more information on my services and how you might be able to work with me to grow your audience and your recognition as the go-to expert in your field, just contact me at hangoutmarketingu.com. Now, you are in for a real treat today. You will be getting a detailed overview, as I said, of the Green Insurance Advantage from Carrie Gray, its CEO and founder. So if you are an alternative healthcare provider, you are in the right place at the right time. So today, Green Insurance is an alternative therapies co-op initiative for health coverage. And Carrie's going to explain the Green Insurance Advantage to you and answer all of your questions. Now we're also excited to have Dr. McBee with us. He's a naturopath, a sonopuncturist, a jazz musician, and a composer. So Dr. McBee is considered to be one of the top 10 naturopaths in New Jersey and New York City metro area. So Dr. McBee, I'd like to welcome you first. If you would unmute yourself and just come on and say hi to our viewers today. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Well, it's great to have you here and I'm really interested in hearing about you know, what attracted you to the Green Insurance Advantage. So you want to just give us a little background and uh, let us know how you found out about Green Insurance. Well, I tell you, um, you know, normally just searching the web for anything that's new out there. And uh, I happened to come across Carrie's uh, idea on, on the web, and I says, hey, this is something that could work. Um, I've been looking for stuff like this for a long time for my patients. You know, uh, they're always talk of insurance going, you know, going for our treatments, and then when you go to a conventional doctor, uh, acupuncture and things of that of that nature are not covered. However, when you go to green insurance, it's it's a lot different, and and it's a uh, I think it's a very good uh, program. Don't take my word for it. I think you should just 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 check it out. <laughs> Absolutely, we really appreciate you being here. And so, Doctor McPhee, where are you from? By the way, where are you hanging out from with us today? Well, um, right outside of New York City, about a 15-minute ride from uh, the infamous uh, Broadway. All right. Well, thank you for being here. And I want you to all know that I am hanging out today from Reno, Nevada. And oh. then we have Carrie that we're bringing on here next. And she's hanging out with us all the way from the big island of Hawaii. So Carrie, why don't you come on in and say hi to everybody. Aloha. Thank you for joining us today. It's such an honor and a privilege to have your valuable time spent with us and we promise not to let you down. It's going to be a great hour. Thank you so much, Carrie. So listen, I want you all to know that right underneath this video that you're watching, there is a place for you to put comments and questions. So I want you to feel free throughout the uh, presentation, put your questions and then we'd also love to know where you're hanging out from as you watch this presentation. So feel free to do that and we'll collect those questions and we'll get to them at the end or maybe even in the middle of the presentation. So Carrie, do you want to go ahead and explain to them how you're going to present today and a little bit about what this is all about and what's in it for our viewers? Go ahead. Well, absolutely. In fact, let me just start the presentation. Well, we want you to feel welcome and we want you to know that your time is valuable. In fact, does anybody have any idea what this stands for? I'll let uh, Virginia and Dr. McBee try to guess for the audience. Does, do you have any idea what this means? What's in it for me? That's it. What's in it for me? That's what we're going to be talking about today is we know that time is a, a valuable resource and we promise that today in this presentation you're going to not only know how to save money, you're not only going to know how to live your life healthier, but you're also going to know how to make the right choices for your business and for your family. So what we're here um, doing is we're we're attracting people who are ready for change. and 
perhaps that could even include you as a healthcare practitioner, whether it's natural or conventional. We know that one thing stands true, no matter who we are or where we come from to this presentation, is that everybody would like a way to sort through all of the confusion that we see today when it comes to this very hot topic of healthcare. And so we have a refreshing solution, and it's really about time for change. You see, all of us were forced upon, we were thrust upon this thing called Obamacare. And it really is quite a problem because it's a very large pill to swallow. Now today what we're going to do is we're going to really sort through what has happened where people have felt confused or unclear enough of that and and what we're dealing is we're distilling this down so that you can sort through to make the best decision for uh, your personal as well as your professional needs so we're here to educate inform and empower you and what we want to do now is to take a look at the facts and the truth so we have to start our discussion with this, and we call this the wealth care system. As you can see by our illustration, there's a very disproportionate system that's happening, and that is a, a greed that is typified uh, by this very large person, and then, of course, the very small person that's feeding that greed um, is the people that we're representing and that we're talking to today. So when we take a look at how this greed is coming into play, we have to look at the history of the health insurance industry and what has really happened. So just this one chart really helps us to understand that, that profit is always the bottom line when it comes to health insurance. And what we have to say is since Obamacare, how has that changed or has it changed? Well, according to the headlines, According to those who have done research into what's really happening in spite of what's being promoted, we see that the change is not good for people, but it's great for the insurers. In fact, when we look at publicintegrity.org, it helps us to understand that the largest health insurers knew profits were $10.3 billion in 2014. So that means that according to that same website, the people who have benefited most from this new law are the top executives and the shareholders of those insurance companies. In fact, their stocks have gone up an average of over 107% in the last two years. And so when we take a look even further at what the facts are, you see it says, according to MainStreet.com, that the compliant plans are required to contain certain benefits. And what that really means is, is that while the insurance company has a new liability and it's, it's supposed to be able to justify new premium increases, what's happening though is that it's really not having to incur real liability. So as an example, under Obamacare, everyone has supposed to be 10 different uh, criteria included in a new policy. So if you're a 40-year-old man and you have a maternity policy, is that really necessary? And that's the point. And that's where the insurance companies are profiting. So when we take a look at how the doctors are being affected, you see what we look at is the reimbursements. And if you take a private pay plan, for example, and it pays a dollar, uh, for a service, then Medicare is a discount and it pays 80 cents. But then when we're talking about these ACA exchange plans, they're coming in at 60 cents. And so that's the reason why this um, uh, study by the think tank American Action Forum says that the exchange plans really are cutting reimbursements by up to 40 percent to the practitioners. And here's how they expect the doctors to fix that problem to take on more patients to make up for lost revenue. And really, when you think about that, is that really the answer? Well, I think you and I both know. You see, the 2014 survey of uh, American physicians says that there will be nearly 250, 215,000 who will not participate in the exchange product. So let's say that a person buys a health policy in order to be in compliance and not pay a penalty, but now you can't find a doctor to treat you. So it really is becoming a very big problem. And the study points to two reasons why. You see 75% of the patients that doctors are seeing right now chose plans with high deductibles. So that's like the bronze plan, for example. And what that means is, is that the patient is stuck with the, the copay, the deductible, and then that means that the practitioner is stuck with trying to collect that. And, and that means that the insurance company is stuck with nothing. 
except collecting premiums. So the Health and Human Services adds this caveat to this to this complex problem. You see, it says that um, they are required, insurers required 90 days to include protection of someone even if they stop, if they default on their premiums. Now what that means is that what they've done is they say, okay, we'll cover the first 30 days, now we're going to push that over to the doctors to recoup the last 60. So again, very, very unfair. So this is the number one reason why or providers are refusing to participate. And, and now notice this fact, according to CNS News, that about a million people have failed to pay their premiums and have had their plans canceled. So again, the problems just continue. Now here's another fact. You see 62% of all bankruptcies are caused by medical illness. And notice what the American Journal of Medicine states. People who declare bankruptcy as a result of medical debt had insurance. They attended college, they owned their own home, and they had middle class jobs. They did everything right, yet they were still financially devastated. And so this is why this game that we're all being forced to play, this Medicopoly, is really no answer. And it's the thing that's leaving everyone, from practitioners to patients, feeling frustrated. Albert Einstein said it best when he said we cannot solve our problems with the same thinking we used when we created them. And so that's why today instead of focusing on the problems, our focus is on change. Our focus is on this. You see, in order for change to really happen, we have to have a solution that's free of financial gain, that's free of political agendas, and that's really about people. Yes, isn't that a refreshing thought? And that's why this fresh perspective is what we want to talk about. It's how fresh solutions and innovative answers are now here and are a reality. You see, according to the Center for Disease Control, chronic diseases are, ca are the cause of 7 in 10 deaths. And what makes that worse is that 75% of healthcare expenditures are in treating chronic diseases, many of which are preventable. That's the problem. So if we were to incorporate alternative treatments, we could um, actually improve providing like the gold standard of care for people instead of a system that's clearly not working. So if we took a look at something like that, about where people are heading, where's, where's the direction of consumer spending? Well, it's made clear by the um, U.S. Census Bureau who says that estimates are 158 million people are choosing to self-fund natural medicine because their insurance won't provide it. And their cumulative spending is $100 billion annually. So really what we're talking about is a past due need for comprehensive health plan. And really it's a decades past due need. So what we're talking about here is under the Obamacare alternative, it would be the opportunity for a first time reimbursement for natural medicine. It would be that diagnosed by an MD, a DO, an ND, a chiropractor, any state licensed practitioner who, cre who diagnoses a medical condition can then order a, um, a plan of action or a, a plan of treatment for natural treatments that would be less invasive, that would cost less, and that would prevent more costly additional treatments, and that would reverse those undue deaths. So what we see is, we take a look here at the Obamacare natural medicine and what their view of natural medicine is. 12 massage to, or chiro or acupuncture, and that's it. Everything else is denied. Now we take a look at this innovative approach. We're not talking about um, big pharma, and we're not talking about patented control and, and financial gain, but we're really talking about pure organic treatments that simply work. And when they are integrated into a conventional medicine plan and we're fusing the best of both, well, we could really see how the benefits would be just to help people. You see, conventional medicine can never be excluded from this picture because there will always be accidents, there will always be medical emergencies, there will always be the need for maternity, hospitalization, and, and surgery, therapies, et cetera, and so forth. All of those things are always needed. And so the point here is, is that while all of those are, are the ideal, what I have to do is stop the presentation now and explain to you how this idea came to me. You see, as the screen is called, A Light in the Darkness, and the darkness for me was this. You see, when I was a young woman in my 20s, I was diagnosed with terminal liver cancer. Now, 
you'll see me, this is a picture of me then, and, and though I've lived my whole life since, I've actually had all these different things, as you see, that came up on the screen that really are the reason why I've been able to, been given this gift to now give to you. Because as a entrepreneur, a mother and a grandmother, a community volunteer, a licensed insurance professional, and an inventor, and now a nonprofit founder, all of those things are going to be used to help you. And so when we talk about how my diagnosis really changed my life, you see, I went in for a complete physical, and I came away with this terminal diagnosis with no chance of survival. I was told it was beyond the scope of chemo and radiation. And you know, that's a devastation that no one is prepared, let alone in their 20s. And what made the situation even worse was this. You see, yes, I was a mother of three beautiful children, and they were, as you can see, very small. And knowing the devastation that that loss of their mother would have on their life was something that I grieved for. So my grieving was not just for myself and losing my children, but my grieving was knowing all the things and events in their life that this, this haunting memory of not having their mom present would just continue to just be this, this heavy burden for them to carry. And so what I did at this point is I'm, I've always been a very spiritual woman. And, and so what I did was begged God for help. I begged him for the guidance for the wisdom and the knowledge to know what to do with my situation. And this is the first of many clarities that I was given in that prayer's answer. You see, I was first given the ability to realize that maybe there's something my doctor doesn't know. What, what would be the chances that there's a possibility out there of something that she doesn't know? And so that's where I chose to realize and feel empowered by this idea that I need to fight. I need to exhaust every option. Yes, that's what I need to do. And if I exhaust every option and I die, at least I die and I give my children the legacy so that they know that their mother loved them so much there was nothing she wasn't willing to do to make sure she was there for them. And so that's when I entered a new chapter of my life. And that chapter is when I was introduced to alternative medicine. Now, having uh, this is 1988 when this all happened. So back then, alternative medicine was definitely a underground movement. Um, it was definitely something that there was a lot of very bad publicity that had given natural medicine such a negative image in the minds of people. So it was called things like voodoo and witchcraft and, and you know, anyways, it was, it was very discredited. So when I came to natural medicine, I had absolutely no belief in it, but I just wanted to exhaust every option. That was the only reason why I elected to go this route. And, and so when people think that the reason why alternative medicine works is because you believe that it works, that it's psychosomatic, well, folks, I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. Natural medicine works because it empowers and infuses and ignites the immune system to start working. And that's where the cure to disease is, is was within us. It's not in a laboratory. It's in within each of us. And so when I came to realize that the practitioner that I went to without prior knowledge of the medical diagnosis, when she again found my cancer and again warned me that I had very little time left, I started to really listen to what she had to say. And so she was the first voice of, of hope for me. She was the one who offered me a protocol. She said it would be expensive and it would require 100% commitment on my part. And then she asked the question. She said, you have health insurance, right? And I said, yes. And she said, well, it's not going to pay for anything. And I said, okay, well, I guess I don't have a choice, so let's do it. And so that's what I did. I set out for a healthy new life. And just as she had warned me, I submitted thousands of dollars of receipts to my health insurance company at the time. And the de denial letter that came back said that I was out of coverage and that it was unproven. So within a year, I went back to my medical doctor just to see if I was making any kind of headway. Now, what I didn't know was this, that I was going to come away with new tests that were going to confirm that my treatment protocol cured my cancer. I was as shocked as my doctor was. However, my shock in the fact that my doctor refused to let me explain to her what I had been doing really helped me to understand that 
the mindset of many practitioners, and thankfully today this is this is changing with functional, integrative, and complementary medicine approaches, that they no longer view preventative medicine as killing return business. And so now that we have a fresh approach, and uh, it gave me this idea that I need to start being more health responsible and live a healthy lifestyle, it still didn't fix the other component, which is the fact that I did not have a health plan for alternative medicine and that was what I wanted so no matter who I talked to what company what insurance professional no matter which one I spoke with the conversation always ended the same and it was the fact that it was a great idea but it just wasn't available and so for two decades I searched for alternative medicine health insurance and that ended in 2013 when I was offered a chance a career change, I guess we'll say, to to insurance. And that's when the search ended because once I became um, familiar with insurance, once I understood and studied the dynamics of insurance and became a licensed professional, then I was able to understand the nuts and bolts of how insurance works. And let me just explain. So what I finally found was the reason why my insurance denied my, my um claims years earlier. See, for me, it made no sense why a corpse isn't going to make insurance premiums. Why they don't try to keep you alive. Well, the reason why is because in a policy, a policy will only cover what is written in policy. That's it. And the adjusters are bound by the terms of the policy. So what I did was discover how to write a policy that would include alternative medicine. And so that's what happened. In July of 2013, um, I uh, submitted a, a patent application for this, Green Insurance Holistic Health Insurance Coverage. And, and seeing Green Insurance as, a, as an ancillary product, seeing it as a, um, a standalone health plan for people that could purchase in addition to conventional insurance would give people I felt the answer that they had been searching for. Now when we talk about choice and how powerful choice is and how decades past due the solution is, well it was muddied by this here. You see the Affordable Health Care Act as we know in October of 2013 shut down the federal government as there became a political gridlock. Special interest groups were in there vying for the health insurance industry and and really what happened was is that we launched the website and while we were getting phenomenal feedback from people so excited about what we were doing what was also happening was that they were sharing with us stories about how they had been really wronged by their insurance. And what could I say? I understood. I had the same experience. So as much as Obamacare and this legislation that people were going to now be penalized if they didn't cooperate with the, with the legislation, then we had the whole crisis where people's policies were being canceled because they no longer met the the preliminary criteria, the minimum essential coverage for insurance. Uh, their premiums were escalating. They were paying um, mortgage payments to the insurance company. So this was a real problem and this is when I began to really delve into this more. So before we go deeper, I'm going to stop the presentation now and we're going to let you ask any questions that you might have. Okay, thank you Carrie. This is um, such great background for how green insurance was established and how you came about this as an, as an alternative solution for people who weren't getting the coverage that they need. Um, you also have I think what we can get some good light shed on by Dr. McPhee, if you'd like to unmute yourself for a moment and uh, just give us some insight from a, an alternative healthcare practitioner's perspective as to how this is going to change the dynamics of your business and how this is going to become a whole new differentiator in your business. So go ahead and share that with us, would you please? Okay. Um, actually, to be honest with you, um, it's what uh, Carrie had said in the beginning about you know her situation that it's it almost uh, similar to a situation like I was saying before I was looking for insurance for my patients and I had a lady who had a, a terminal disease and I was looking for everything I could to help her and uh, she passed away I say about two months before I actually came across uh, Green insurance, so it's almost like a godsend that 
it uh, carries um, program actually came to my eyesight. So it's like, okay, you know, this one passed away, but uh, now I can, now it's, it's better uh, for everybody. And is this something that you are sharing with your, your new patients? So that this is an option that they may have because um, your services are not generally covered by any form of insurance, is it? Is that correct? correct. Uh, things like acupuncture, like she said, but it depends on the acupuncture. Um, some cases will cover acupuncture for, let's say, an accident, uh, a spi a spinal, you know, sort of situation. But what about a person with uh, high blood pressure or, or things of that nature? It's not covered by the insurance, but with green insurance it would be so that's 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 a plus and that would help you know and there are other technologies such as rifing that's definitely not covered by the, your standard insurance companies where it's covered on green insurance terrific thank you for your input on this so Carrie if you want to go ahead and um, continue the presentation so what we're really talking about is um, the change and Change sometimes is a scary thing, and it seems that change is something that most people always want to be second. They want someone else to find out how to, you know, they want them to be the experiment. But what we're really talking about is a change that's not experimental at all. It's actually a, a proven model that's going to work, and you're going to soon understand that. So really what happened was is that as I continued to hear the feedback from people, what I came to realize is that perhaps the problem is the answer. You see, while Obamacare seemed to be the problem and this whole health care reform and, and saying that it was affordable, but it's really only affordable if with really large deductibles or for the very young, what really happened was this, is that we know that if we want new results, we have to change our way of thinking. So what I did is I delved into the law. And what I found was this, it's called 26 U.S. Code 5000A, and it's under requirements to maintain minimum essential coverage. And now, if you notice in subsection B, it's called a health care sharing ministry. Now, that word seems religious, but let's let the law define what that means. Here is how it is interpreted. It means a health care sharing ministry means simply organization. It is defined as members who share a common set of ethical beliefs or share medical expenses among members in accordance with those beliefs without regard to their state in which they reside. Now here's where it became a little more complicated though. It said it had to be in existence at all times since December 31st, 1999 and its members had to have been continuously sharing without interruption since then and it had to have an annual audit performed by an independent certified public accounting firm. So what happened at this point is that there were many different cost sharing organizations, but the problem is that they could not meet that criteria. So continuing to research the industry, what I found is this, is that cost sharing actually as a co-op, this is like a health plan self-insured co-op, it had been in use for over 30 years and there had been over 500,000 people that had participated in these and it had paid over 1.3 billion dollars in conventional medicine costs. So recognizing that we really could create something far better than any insurance product is when I searched for organizations that met the criteria and there were very few left and so what I found was that there were a couple who were very interested in what the green insurance project was about. So we began a, uh, a relationship with an organization whose inception was in 1988 and it has paid out tens of millions of dollars to thousands of providers and its focus has always been conventional medicine. So when we presented this new day in healthcare through this alternative for alternative health plans, what we found was this organization had 50,000 members. And when they took it to a vote of their members, what they returned to us was a 94% approval. So that was outstanding. And what that really meant was that now we had the foundation of a nonprofit coalition. And that's where 2015 came in because this started in February and we were able to launch this just in June, this nonprofit coalition of multiple nonprofits who have come together for the greater good of people. You see, as this as this uh, simple illustration helps us to think. We, we've got to get new results from new thinking. We
we cannot keep relying on the same old methods. And one of the things that was really refreshing that came through our website was that because we were promoting this idea initially of a new insurance product, that people were coming to us, and, and very talented people, people that were very, um, this, this message really made sense to. People like Dr. McBee and others who you have met earlier in the week on our uh, other uh, webinars. So what is really is a Margaret Mead profound statement. She said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world because it's the only thing it ever has. Now, well, we're not saying that green insurance is going to change the world. What we're saying here is that we can choose to not participate. We can choose to create our own health plan system so that we are the change we want to see. So this is who the, we call it the green team, and this is who our green team is. These are faces that may be familiar or some that you've never seen before, but each one of them has different talents and are here for different reasons as part of this team of, of thought leaders and those of our community who really help us to understand that this is not any one person. This is about a lot of people who care and are coming forth. So what we're, our agenda is, is to pay it forward. As volunteers, we're all in this together, and this is who your uh, community is being led by. You see, one thing that we, we agree on is that no one has ever become poor from giving, and that's a, a quote from um, Anne Frank. And, and so really what we're talking about is giving of ourselves to make sure that those who are attracted to our message understand that we're talking about health plan freedom. In fact, we're talking about a health plan so innovative that we see it as the last health plan that you're going to ever need. You see, our mission here at Green Insurance is to take It's Not Covered by My Health Insurance out of your healthcare conversations. So as a practitioner, that's a refreshment as much as it is as to the patient. So what we're doing is we're shattering this invisible barrier that insurance has created from the integrative to the allopathic, from the um, holistic to the conventional. See, with green insurance, we're able to eliminate those barriers to really create what we call a symbiotic health care plan. Yes, a health plan that everyone in the community benefits from. That is why we're talking about new options that have never been available before. And we believe that those new options really is what is what springboards our concept, which is because choice is powerful medicine, because choice matters to people, because people need to be put in control of their own health care. They need to be put in control of their say of who their practitioners are. And that's why conventional or natural all of us can benefit from this new health plan. You see, our focus is people, not profits. And as a nonprofit, we are self-funded and independent of health insurance. Now, people ask, so how does that work exactly? Well, if you're familiar with what a credit union is, then you'll understand what cost sharing is. You see, while a credit union is similar in services, it's not anywhere in the same, um, it's dissimilar, I guess I'll just say, to what a bank is. A bank is for profit and so is a health insurance. So this is really about recognizing that there's another way to provide an answer to this issue. Yes, this is something that as practitioners and patients alike, we're all too familiar with how insurance constantly rejects treatments that are outside of its scope. But with um, green insurance, we're making sure that what our members have is far more, a far better health plan that provides far more for far less. So really what we're doing is we're able to maximize the protection, the exemption that Obamacare provides to select organizations and passing that on to our members. Now the question often is, arises, is this limited? Well, actually it's not. It's a national health plan. And what it provides is a $1 million per incident health plan benefit. So that's not $1 million per person, that's not $1 million per uh, policy, that's just $1 million per incident. So a person can have multiple incidences and each one of them would each have a $1 million per incident ability. Now here's another one that is big and this is a health plan that requires no copay. 
So you digest that for just a minute. We'll talk more about that in a minute here. So what we're saying is really it's a simplified payment solution. And that is made possible through our third party payer, Global Care. And what we really want to providers to know is that we understand your pain. You see, providers are now through Green Insurance reimbursed in 14 to 30 days versus the conventional insurance model if a practitioner's treatments even qualify, which obviously many don't under the natural uh, umbrella. But those who do qualify are looking at 90 days, 60 to 90 days payables, as well as those who do Medicare and Medicaid are 180 days. So those needless delays are eliminated by what we're talking about through reinsurance. So natural treatments reimbursed for the first time is great news and how that works is the following. So as we recall this earlier screen, we're now going to take a look at it under the green insurance health plan. So when we have a diagnosed health condition by a state licensed practitioner, those practitioner treatments are paid as long as they are less invasive, cost less, and prevent more costly conventional treatments. That's the criteria. And so when we take a look at on the conventional side, how does that work? Well, conventional practitioners are reimbursed at 150 to 170 percent of Medicare. So 100 percent of Medicare plus 50 to 70 percent more. That is why conventional doctors love what Green Insurance and our organizations, our, our cost sharing organizations have been about and why they have cooperated for more than 30 years. So really what we, our message here is that because we believe that healthy people are happy people, what we want is our practitioners happy as well. And so through our um, invitation and this webinar, we are inviting practitioners to join us as a network provider. And by doing so, you actually have the ability to have free advertising to our co-op community who in the near future will be able to site search our website and be able to find the practitioners who our um, co-op is uh, including and, and as a practitioner you understand the benefits that you're going to receive by cooperating with your uh, patients in this health plan initiative. So if you love what you're hearing and we think that you do, what we do is this, encourage you to refer your patients to Green Insurance and that is simply found at mygreeninsurance.org. So, um, that there's a, a, an easy two-step uh, enrollment process for the individuals. And for practitioners, well, our I agenda here is to help you save money um, on billing through these electronic uh, billing methods through Global Care, and also to help you understand that we're here to, to help you be successful. Now, under the co-op health plan, there's always this question about pre-existing conditions. So we're going to take just a minute and look at that. So if there's a pre-existing health condition in the medical file, okay, anything treated in the last 24 months is considered pre-existing. So month one through month 12, there is no benefit for the health plan only on the pre-existing. So if a person comes to Green Insurance, let's say they've got cancer, okay, they're going to pay into the co-op for 12 months, they're going to get no benefit from that. However, what they're going to get is if they break their leg, if they have an appendicitis, if they've got, um, you know, something um, else happening to them, that health plan is going to cover everything else, okay. Now what happens though at month 13 through 24, they get the first $25,000 in benefits. Now anyone who knows anything about natural medicine knows that $25,000 is a lot of natural medicine. And we really believe that um, that is a huge benefit because month 25 through 36, it turns to 50,000 of continuous co-op membership. And month 37, anything that was in the file is considered no longer pre-existent and now the million dollars kicks in, the million dollar health plan benefit. So when we ask this question, how does your health insurance plan compare? This is what I want to show you. This is very interesting. So what we have here, and this is on our website, but this is really um, exactly what it costs, whether you're single, married, or family, uh, what it costs you annually. Okay, so when we're talking about this um, idea of pre-existing, how does that really work? Well, for a single person, just as an example, your annual cost would be $4,100. But what you would get at month 13 is 25000 in return health plan benefits. Again, when we look at married, it's $5,800 with another 25000 
and again for the family, 6,300 with that same 25,000. So when you're investing in the co-op, you're investing in your future. And that's why we ask this question, how does your health plan compare? So if you're, um, let's say you're a practitioner, and you have providers, or you're an individual on this webinar, what we recommend is if you want your practitioner part of our network, <coughs> excuse me, simply send them to our website. There's an, an entire section of our website in the menu de uh, designated to practitioners where they can simply enroll in our two-step, no-cost provider enrollment. So what our goal here is to make sure that state licensed practitioners are able to focus on optimum patient care. And, and if we can take the insurance out of your, your uh, business and make sure that you are in business to do what you came in business for, which is to treat people and not deal with insurance companies, we think that you're going to find this a very refreshing change. Because you see, our goal is to provide, excuse me, improve provider reimbursement payments in a hassle-free uh, method that, as you can see, is outlined here. So we're able to help you reduce your costs and to simplify your processes. So we, again, focus on state licensed practitioners are those reimbursed. So sometimes the question comes up, well, what about those who aren't licensed? Um, like, for instance, some of the treatment protocols that we have on our website are not state licensed. Well, that's when we invite natural practitioners who are not state licensed to work with a state licensed practitioner because they are the ones who receive the reimbursement. Now, as a green insurance um, practitioner, network practitioner, uh, what we want to do is make sure that you understand that we're here to help drive down your costs, as we mentioned earlier. And one of the things that we do is we pass on a negotiated rate with, a, with the largest payment processing gateway that specializes in health uh, and medicine. And our rate that we're able, we're able to negotiate on behalf of all of our practitioners is 1.6%. So that is in itself is another savings. And the reason why we're bringing a unified payment system to the table is because that all card transactions are going to be part of that 1.6% plus the low monthly fee. And the reason why we're doing that <clears throat> excuse me, is we're in development of a proprietary payment system. So what we're wanting to do with this proprietary payment system that is very near to being complete is we're going to reduce yet again that 14 to 30 day payment and we're going to speed it up even more. So the idea for Green Insurance is to make sure as a practitioner we help drive down your cost of business to increase your profits and that way this is a health plan that works for you too. You see, all providers are welcome and invited to enroll and receive our, our exclusive proprietary benefits that only network providers receive. So while any provider can be reimbursed by the co-op and anyone can choose any provider they want, what we're doing is we're building this, um, this network of practitioners who are incentivized with added be benefits to join us. And so those benefits include free network provider enrollment, free merchant processor enrollment, and exclusive network provider benefits. So now we're going to talk about some frequently asked questions. And the first one is that practitioners ask, well, can I take other insurance? And the answer is absolutely. We're not taking away from your business, we're adding to it. And the next question is, how do I tell patients about this? Well, that's where innovation comes in. So either it's one-on-one -on -one consultations, we can do, you can do email blasts, you can do a newsletter, we can set up a webinar where you bring your patients in, you, we can develop a handout for you, and ultimately you can just drive people to our website. So we're very innovative when it comes to introducing and educating your patients on why this is the health plan that will benefit them. Now the last question is, what happens if the co-op runs out of money? That's a great question and the answer is simply this. You see, as a co-op, we're obviously we started with 50,000 people who has never ran out of money for the last 30 years. And the reason why is because it's called the law of large numbers. And what that means basically is, is that when you take a, a claim and you diversify or you spread it out among many people, it's an impact so small that no one feels it. But when you're solely carrying the load 
without a, a, without a health plan community or without an insurance policy backing you, then you're carrying 100% of the risk. So if something were to happen, and there were there was let's say there was a plague, and all of our members had catastrophic losses, they were all you know had some terrible thing happen all at the same time, and the co-op ran out of money. That is where insurance and cost sharing share one thing in common, and that is the fact that every everyone has what's called reinsurance. And reinsurance is how the pool of money is back to make sure that it never runs out of money and that the claims made against it, the, uh, the costs that are submitted against it, are, are honored. So bottom line is, if you're a network provider or you're a co-op member, the choice is yours. And we want you to know now how to make the right choice. But because sometimes there's still a lot of information to process, we understand, and so sometimes people are still a little undecided, and we get that. So I just want to take a moment just to let the uh, very um, controversial uh, Donald Trump have a little say here in our discussion. What does he have to say about Obamacare? He says, let me get this straight. We're going to be gifted with a health plan that we're forced to purchase and find if we don't, which purportedly covers at least 10 million more people without any, any new doctors, but provides 16,000 more IRS agents. So, and he goes on. I'll stop there. But here's the point is, he says it's a prescription for disaster, and, well, we happen to agree. As a businessman, Donald knows what he's talking about. So under the Daily Caller News Foundation of August 8th, it, it, there's an article, and it is entitled, Everybody Has to Pay the New Obamacare Tax. So this is another thing that people don't know who are in compliance and who are purchasing health insurance. It says all Americans who bought health insurance policies this year face a 41% increase in excise taxes because of hidden fees in the Affordable Care Act. This year, the tax will cost individuals more than $500 in extra premiums and $700 for a family. The 41% sticker shock increase doesn't stop in 2015. Over the next four years, the statutorily mandated Obamacare fees are expected to double again. The levy will continue to go up each and every year into the future, and the tax was buried as a way to raise future funds to pay for Obamacare. And it goes on to say, Senator John Barrasso said the tax is another example of how the president's health care law was designed so that the most painful parts kick in years later. The only group exempted from the tax are people who work in large corporations and self-insure. And folks, that's what we're talking about green insurance is. We are self-insuring so that no insurance company is needed or used. You see, the Affordable Care Act is not your only option. You do have a choice, and that choice is MyGreenInsurance.org. And so, when we take a look again at what the comparison is between Obamacare's approach to conventional medicine and natural medicine and what green insurance is, what we're saying is if choice matters to you, and what we're asking is if having more for less matters to you, then what we want you to know is that now you can make an informed decision. And what we want you to feel is that you are free to choose because you've gotten the education. You understand what the benefits of membership in this community are all about. Because you see, together, we are the change that we want to see. Thank you, everyone. And now we'll open it up for any questions, Virginia. If there's anyone online that has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. OK, as I, as I talk here for a moment, go ahead and, and bring your beautiful face back on so people can <laughs> connect with you. I think it's Thank so important you. that they see you and, and sense your passion and how you've developed this incredible innovative program. I'm just, I'm so impressed. Every time I hear the presentation, I pick up more goodies. And so from a from an outsider's perspective, since I'm not a health and, you know, I'm not an alternative health care provider, as you know, but here's what I get from it. And then I'd like Dr. McBee to comment on this as well. And that is, um, this is, and, and Carrie, just for a moment, so if you have a little echo, just mute yourself for a moment, and then we'll make sure you come back on. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about this, Dr. McBee, from the standpoint is that it's totally free for an, an alternative health practitioner, for, or for anyone, for any health practitioner to enroll in this program. So I see that. I see that it, that, that it sets you up as a real differentiator in, in the fact that you 
uh, if you enrolled in this program, you now have the ability to let your patients know that there is a way that they can get your services and have it covered under green insurance, which I think would be a way of drawing even more patients to you. The other thing that I'm thinking about is, boy, it seems like this would reduce paperwork and the time that's involved in, in insurance claims for conventional practitioners and it perhaps even reduce the amount of employees that they need to have. So for me, I see this as a total win-win situation from the perspective of the patient and from the perspective of the provider. So Dr. McBee, for a moment, come on and, and unmute yourself and share um, your response to some of the things that I picked up as highlights. Well, I tell you, it's a no-brainer from my point of view. I actually see it. I mean, it, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to pick out that what's really good. You know, like I said, even like with the situations like with supplements, um, a lot of times you notice that a lot of conventionals won't cover supplements. You know, vitamins, oh, well, we're not going to cover that. You know, you go out and you do that. But Green insurance covers it. I mean, I get this, and, and everybody else should get this. I mean, it's like I said, it's a no-brainer. Uh, the acupuncture situation, the the rifing, the massage. If there's any conventional doctors that are colleagues of mine that are listening, what's what's what are you waiting for? It's it's it's, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. Thank you, Doctor McBee. You put it so bluntly. <laughs> That's the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, Carrie, come on back in and, and unmute yourself. And uh, I just want you to have some final words. I don't have any direct questions here at this point, but you've talked to a lot of people about this. You've talked to a lot of alternate health care providers as well as people who might be purchasing the program for their own alternative health care uh, program. So just give us some final wrap up on this and, and you know, let them know your passion because I know it's there in full living color and I think that has everything to do with why this is going to work and why it's going to grow and why people are going to want to be involved in it. So go ahead, take the floor. Well, thank, thank you, thank you. Well honestly I've spent the last two years, I've dedicated my professional career to this and I have um, been enumerated zero for this because I believe in it that much. I recognize that really that's what it's going to take to get this job done. We, we've got to have interests besides money involved here. We've got to talk about people and their lives and how to save lives. It's, it's so unconscionable to think about how many lives have been lost needlessly because health insurance has prohibited people from having the kinds of treatments that would have saved their lives. How many people have set out to self-fund because they were given no other option? Um, and I want to just say the green insurance makes self-funding obsolete. So really what we want this to be is the third option. So you have health insurance, you have self-funding and penalty, or you have green insurance. So that's really where we want this to become a mainstream idea of options that people can entertain. So we're, you know, not everything is a fit for everyone and we don't expect it to be. But we know that there are millions of people that this is going to be a great fit for and that's the people that we're reaching out to. Because um, what we recognize is that conventional medicine has a great place but it also has limits. And that's why when we create the gold standard of healthcare by bringing in the natural components that really aid the body to health and wellness and to healing and to rejuvenation, what we're really doing is changing people's lives. We're changing their future and we're helping prevent dramatic causes of diseases. Just as an example, the um, <clears throat> current statistics, okay, uh, I'll just give you a comparison here just of cancer since I brought it up earlier. Cancer statistics a hundred years ago were one in twenty. Today, the estimates are through their life, it's going to be one in two men and one in three women. And the World Health Organization estimates that in the next 20 years, that's going to increase 70%. So folks, this is not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And, and if it's a matter of when, then we need to be proactive and we need to think about, well, how's my health insurance stacking up? Is it providing for me the treatments that are going to save my life? Or is it forcing me into clearly what is not working? And what I mean by that is statistically, 
one in three people who are using conventional medicine, chemo, radiation, and surgery, the only three that are approved by the federal government, right, for, for insurance, one in three people are the only survivors long term. So again, it really just comes down to choice. And, and like I say, we're not a plan for everybody. We don't expect to be. But we think that there's a lot of people that this is going to make sense to. And they're the people that we want to reach with this message to let them know that you're not being emasculated into a system that you don't want. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> well, I'm going to ask you one final question before we, before we sign off, and that is, where do you want people to go again to either get their questions answered or to sure. register for the Green Insurance Program? Absolutely. Well, that is simple. MyGreenInsurance.org. And all of the information is there. You can sign up. You can enroll. You can ask questions. All of it is there. So please feel free to reach out. We're happy to answer any questions that you may have. One thing okay. I wanted to add, Virginia, yeah. I forgot. Dr. McBean, you want to tell them about Quantum Wellness next month? Oh, yeah. Um, in October, there will be a summit for Quantum University in Hawaii. Uh, it's a annual summit that's done with the college, and it talks about awareness and as well as uh, natural medicine as well as alternative medicine. And Green Insurance has a part this year. I am very happy to say in Quantum. And will be uh, one of our one of the sponsors for Quantum University. So uh, go to that summit, and very easily just go to quantumuniversity.com and look it up, and uh, you'll see that Green Insurance is uh, one of the sponsors. Go Green Insurance! <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to tell them about who's going to be some of the high-profile people that are going to be on that summit? Oh yes, uh, we have uh, Bruce Lipton who's one of our speakers. We have Terry Olson, who is one of the ultimate uh, acupuncturists and uh, arachnotherapists. We have David Wolf, the David Wolf, yes, the David Wolf, speaking on behalf. We have Tony Robbins. We have Richard Gleer, who is also one of our quantum physicists and this year's Nobel Prize winner. So uh, it's going to be a really great treat, but definitely more important check out Green Insurance's banner there and uh, I have a quick question is this a, a virtual event yes it is it's a virtual event when you go to uh, quantumuniversity.com it'll tell you all about you know how you can sign on and to uh, look it up it's, it's like I said it's, it's an annual event it happens every year in October so and there's one other thing I want to add. We're going to be sending an email blast out. So make sure and join our mailing list. And um, because Quantum University has given us an opportunity, if we have the most votes, um, then I will be able to be a presenter on, on that university summit. So anyway, so, so we're hoping to get that, get that support from the people. Oh, yes. Wonderful. That sounds very exciting, Dr. McGee. So you've got that information now. So this has been a power-packed presentation. I hope you take the information and act on it in many ways. It's share, spread the word, go to the, the MyGreenInsurance.org website, enroll. Remember, there's no cost for a health practitioner to enroll. And let your patient base know about this program because it is up, running, and active now as we speak. So I want to thank Carrie for being here today and Dr. McBee and all of you for taking the time to view this presentation. We appreciate your being here. If you have any questions that come up in the meantime, you can go to, to mygreensurance.org and leave a, a question for you there as well. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great day. Aloha. Thank you for joining us. Bye-bye.